up with some? My name's Samuel Leeds. I'm standing with my good friend, Mr. Crept. What's, What's happening, up? brother? What's good? We are here in, in Liverpool. In Liverpool. You've come from London. Yes. How much can you buy houses for around this area? 43 grand, mate. But, no, you <laughs> can buy them for 43 grand. Most people have to pay about 100, 110,000 yeah, pounds. Literally, yeah. you just negotiated this for 43,000 pounds. Yeah. Refurbed it. We're going to go through the full figures. You're the man. Be Property investment story. king, not just a rapper, not just a philanthropist. <laughs> Come on, show us around, bro. Right, cool. We've done, we done a little bit of um, touch-ups on the front. It was a bit... It needed a little bit of sprucing. A bit? That, that's an understatement. A little bit of sprucing. <laughs> it needed a little bit of sprucing. New doors and all that. Come and have a look. Oh, yes. Fresh. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Dude, this house is fresher than your jacket, bro. Fresh. <laughs> yeah, nice, fresh, man. Nice grey carpets. Love it. Dude, did a cracking job. Yeah. Refurb is high standard. Lounge looks banging. So when you bought it for 43 grand, did it look like this? <sighs> nope, it looked unrecognisable. Yeah. Like it was, yeah. But when you look at property in that fashion, it's like, we see the equity in it. Right. Profit. Yeah. In fact, I remember, do you remember when I was sat, I was sat on the toilet right here. <laughs> <laughs> Right here. Yeah. So what? Tell, tell me, talk me through. What did you do here? Yeah. So here, the kitchen came up to about here. Yeah. And there was a toilet here, so you had to walk through the kitchen, get to the back of the toilet, and you know we thought let's take out the toilet and extend the kitchen and make the kitchen a bit bigger. Yeah. Especially if we're doing it, you know, HMO, different people in here, big kitchen. So where, where's the bathroom gone? Upstairs. Upstairs, okay. And, and into another It makes room. sense. Most important room in the house is the kitchen. Yeah, it is, man. And, and that's you what drives. Yeah. Drives the empty up. Yeah, man. So you bought it for 43. The refurb, in total, how much was the entire refurb? Uh, 30,000. 30,000. Yeah. Came on budget? Came on. I think it's just slightly under. Slightly under budget. Respect. Good stuff. Yes, yes. And now, the new value, so you in total, all in, stamp duty, refurb, Purchase price, how much are you talking? 75. 75 all in, yeah. cash. Yeah. Yeah. Where'd you get the money? Um, if I tell you, I have to kill you. No, <laughs> nah, um, music. Music, man. Yeah. Um, that is where I get So you're money. making like fast pound with your music. Yeah. Making making good money. You're pretty good at what you do. I've seen you in concert. Pretty good. All right. Pretty <laughs> good. He's average. Jump. Step, step, step. In the party, I can't. What party jumping in? No, 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 the best, the best. <laughs> All right, so so made money in music, yes. put it into property strategically, bought the house 43, pushed the value up. What's the value now? New valuations, 110,000. 110,000. So now you're putting all your money out? Refinancing it. And yeah. renting this bad boy out? Exactly. So Dude. Effectively, it's a free house, isn't it? Oh, well, yeah. Show me the rooms. Let's go. Nice man. Nice orange feature wall. Nice. Give 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 the room a bit of character, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why why did you choose to kind of like the colours and stuff? What, what was the rationale behind that? I feel like it, it gives it the, the house a bit of personality and you yeah. don't just come to that like, I want the orange room or the green room or the blue room. Or... Right. Just kind of makes it pop individual. Exactly. Cool. So where's this person? They got you got an ensuite, right? So an ensuite in here as well. So with the self-turning on lights. Shower, self-turning on lights, all that jazz. The builders didn't want to actually put an ensuite in here um, because of the piping and where it was, but you know, where there's a will, there is a way. Yes. Um, and what was what was the way? Um, sunny flow toilets. Sunny flow toilets. <laughs> Which actually, you know, it's really funny because sunny flow toilets 10, 12 years ago used to really be bad, but these sunny flow, they're not that bad. Like you can flush them, they're making a little bit of a noise. But, but, see the little, uh, get used to that. No, no, but it, it, in 10 seconds it will stop. Whereas, standing for a toilet 10 years ago, it would make that noise for like five, five minutes. minutes. Now it's finished. So, not too bad. Pipe work goes up straight through to the back of the house. As long as you don't put like nappies or anything down there. Yeah, literally. Which should, should be fine. Be. So how much is this room renting out for? Um, around, 375 pound mark. 375, okay. Okay. Yeah. 
Okay, not bad. Come on then, let's see the other room. So with, with this property, we've got three tenants yeah. moving in next week. Yes. Um, but and the rents are like between three fifty and four hundred. Yes. And there's three rooms. So in total, how much rent are you gonna get? Um, just under twelve hundred. Okay. How much cash flow profit is that gonna give you after all expenses? Um, about five six hundred quid. So you're gonna make about five or six hundred pounds a month profit. Profit. Ongoing, but you've pulled all your money out. So yes, all of my money that I invested, yeah, pulled out. So effectively, it's a free house, and you're making about six hundred pounds a month for it, and you've got all your money back. Nice. All right, man. Sit this. I love the fact that you've gone with self turning on lights because it just means that if the tenants forget to turn off the lights, it will just do it for them. It will do it for them. So because they're not going to be paying no bloody electricity. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They're not really going to care about that, are they? This is the green room. Because it's like green is the colour of money. Green. It's a dollar bill, baby. The thing that you did so smart, they don't call you the goat for nothing, is you bought this property about six months ago, just before they brought in... Article 4. Boom shakalaka. <laughs> so yeah. next week when your tenants move in, what's happening next month in June? Uh, next month, yeah, when they bring in Article 4, then there's not going to be no more HMOs. Got a unicorn now because no yeah. one can't do this anymore. So, so this house becomes a special edition house, exactly. which means the value is going to shoot up, the rents are going to shoot up, and you're just going to keep getting paid, and you pull all your money out anyway. So smart. That's the, the blue room. Is that blue or is it like grey? Oh, blue, blue. Uh, yeah, <laughs> bluey grey. Grey room. Yeah, nice. Green. I actually, I actually think this is the best room. This is getting, this is getting the most rent. Was it? This is three nine and five. And it's got the big bar thing. What was this? Remember when we came to this property about six weeks ago? Oh my word. What did this look like and what happened? This basically, it, it, this was a corridor that led to the toilet. And then this was like a, a tiny room. What's it been like working with me, brother? Ah, oh, bro. It's been a, 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 a honor to work with you, man. Just to even do this with you. Respect, bro. Sick, my guy. This Sam. is the man, the GOAT, the legend. No, this is the man, the GOAT, the legend. <laughs> Appreciate you, brother. <laughs>